Today, we're dedicating our entire briefing to games. Thank God. Our goal is to make yes. Xbox One the best place to play games this generation. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Turn 10 Studios, Dan Greenewald. At Turn 10, Cars. we are inspired by your passion for cars and racing. And for you, may I present the most iconic sports car track in the world, the Nürburgring. Hey, what, what, what? Jackie Stewart's world driving game filled with incredible vistas, amazing music, and over 200 of the world's greatest cars, including the premier of the Lamborghini Huracan, our car list is, is that bigger Adam? and more diverse than ever. Built for Xbox One on Forza Motorsport 5's graphics engine, Horizon 2 delivers a full day-night cycle and introduces I'm dynamic sorry. weather, all in stunning 1080p. I really like the water <laughs> on the car. I don't like the buffering on the car. No. Oh. oh wow, that does look amazing. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's just face it, all these games are gonna look amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's 2014, goddammit. <laughs> when that car opened its doors, I was hoping it was gonna fly. I think I'll get this when I have an Xbox One. Really? It's, it's not exclusive. Oh, then I'll get this whenever I have a console. <laughs> I think I'm going to be coming to PC too. Then I won't get a console! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Please welcome senior producer from Ubisoft, Vincent Pompriand. Oh! Hello Ooh, everyone! Okay. I'm here to introduce Assassin's Creed Unity, the first exclusively next-generation installment in our epic saga. Unity is set in 18th century Paris during the chaotic and ruthless period Hopefully of this the comes French out on the PC. As assassin, I think oh, I'm that's exciting! We'll explore our biggest playground ever, which we have filled with hundreds of quests, activities, and rewards. Well, but that's not all. I am gonna eventually get a PS4 anyway, so yeah, that's okay. You will be able to form your own <laughs> co op, co op, co op. Friends on Xbox Live. Hi guys. Let's. Hi guys. Let's jump in this exclusive game that will show you how to <laughs> oh, okay, find finds the Assassin's Creed oh. experience. Take care of this, or I will use your head as a pistol. You, men, secure the point gates. I'm Captain. Pace point. Duh. Watch your language, mister. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I really am liking the looks of this co op stuff. Yeah, yeah. Damn, son. Tyler note. God damn, it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah. Hey, chaos. The Marquis wishes to assure you that the rabble outside can cause us no. I'm very happy about 
We can work together. They're only console peasants. They're only peasants. Oh damn. Oh yeah, boy. Shit. Well, this year's E3 is a bit gorier than usual. A bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was epic. Thank you. The world is tearing itself apart. Is this Black Desert? No. Oh, I think it's Dragon Age 3. <laughs> All cars. I'm actually excited about this too. Really? Yeah. Did you play the previous Dragon Age games? No, they didn't interest me, but this one does. Fair enough. So far, at least. I, uh... I barely tried 1 and 2, I don't think they're games for me. I see. But on the bright side, the sooner they finish this, the sooner they can get on with the Mass Effect next. And I just felt like clapping. I don't know what this is. It says Call of Duty again. Jesus Christ. They sure are hyping this thing up. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. this from uh was it last year's e3 yeah i think it was oh my gosh this game looks amazing there are survivors doing whatever they can to get by but some of them are dicks attacking others for their stuff oops ignore that one <laughs> but it's not all bad all this place needs is a hero one who doesn't just survive but does it? It's style. Who is this hero? Me. Not, not me? Oh, you. Can you survive the many dangers? Can you help others survive? Can you save Sunset City? Can you? For the love of God, can you? Of course you can. It's a f***ing video game. <laughs> Please don't let it be exclusive. Please don't let it be exclusive. I don't think anything they've shown so far is is uh, only on Xbox. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's all multiple from so far. But I'm gonna bet they have one like they're gonna say at one point that everything from here on is gonna be like Xbox or Xbox One only. Sunset or Overdrive is Xbox exclusive. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind then. Sunset Overdrive. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I used to think this town was boring. If 
that parkour stuff isn't too magnetic, I think this will be a really good game. Yeah. Be the hero you want to be in Sunset Overdrive starting October 28th exclusively on Xbox One. Shit. Thank you. I didn't want it to be confirmed, but it is. Well, an Xbox One is four hundred dollars. Let's start saving up. Here comes a new challenger. Oh. <laughs> What? What? Go with up to four players on live. It's game time. What is this? I don't know. Power up. Bonus stage. I'm kind of scared to be honest. Special surprises for the Capcom 31st anniversary. Boom shaker. 31st. I like that title. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I hope that eventually comes to PC too. Yay, Harmonix! Only on Xbox Live. I think I just said it was out now. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> the wait ends this September with Dance Central Spotlight, an all new digital only title available I'm getting it. for download on <laughs> Xbox One. Fable Legends is a bold and innovative adventure, and I'm proud to share it with you here today. Enter hero, brave, noble, capable of self narration. In this growing town, you and your friends find and begin your quest. You'll also encounter many of the heroes you'll team up with. Here are just a few of them. Winter, a hero of will. Somewhere out there is treasure, adventure, and a world of things better than standing right here. Rook, a hero of skill. Hmm. All right, fancy pants. And Inga, a hero of strength. Well, don't hang about polishing your codskins. We've got questing to do. Right, let's see what's out there. Sterling, over here. Oh my gosh. Ah, if only there had been more of them. In Fable Legends, you can be the villain. Ooh. The villain player in Fable Legends brings a whole new perspective. I like that idea. Game, controlling the world from above like a malevolent god. Every creature, every trap, and every spell you've seen so far, every challenge our heroes are about to face, the villain oh. orchestrates it all. I like the idea of being the villain. This fall, to sign up and learn more, visit FableLegends.com. I could mash any two games. I just feel like all of them. Yeah, just put them all in one. I just want like Grand Theft Auto, but I could be a Ninja Turtle and Batman yeah. together. Yeah. Ninja Turtles and Batman. Actually, no, that's what I want. Just Ninja Turtles and Batman. Yeah. Yeah. The arcade Ninja Turtles. We're coming, April. Like they look <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. And Running on the side. But the side in the style of. It's the called Arkham modding, of gentlemen. Yes. That's what I want. <laughs> it is possible. Get on with the time, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, how about Zombie Max? Yes, I think I see a floppy bird clone in the oh. picture. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I saw it too. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I hear Star Wars blaster sounds. I couldn't resist. 
What? What? So weird. What? Almost ten years without a new game. Guess we'll have to make our own. I see there. I see there. <laughs> wow. I really like the way this looks. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I bet it's gonna be a tear jerker though. I want this too. He's just one of the best characters, best design characters, great background, great story, everything about him is No, Master awesome. Chief is boring. Jesus. Oh, here we go. Yep. I still do like the Halo music, though, I will say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I liked it for one the game, but I think it became a bit... ...samey and weird in the later games. Well, it's the theme song. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that theme song is good. Are you talking about the music in 2? Because I think that was bestest music of all Halo Wait, games. This, this I is... well, 2 and forward, really. <laughs> I like the music in Halo 1 the best. Ah. Uh, he's Davis talking. For he is more than the sum of his actions. Wait, this looks like a familiar scene from Halo 2. I was gonna say that uh, I think I've seen something like this before. Yeah. So I guess this, this is the high Halo anniversary I thing. Ooh. I trust you, Agent Maybe crossover with the Mass Effect since Kim Keith David. <laughs> And Saints Row 4. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> Saints Row 4. Because all our lives are at stake. From 343 Industries, Bonnie Ross. Mention TV and I'll kick you off the stage. <laughs> She's gonna talk about Halo. At the end of Halo 4, for the first time ever, you can play the entire Master Chief saga on a single console, the Xbox One. With Halo. Why does she Master love Chief that one guy too? I don't get it. <sighs> <laughs> I love you too. The Master Chief Collection <laughs> is massive. It includes the games Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. When we started working on the Master Chief Collection, we knew we had an opportunity to do something special. To not only rekindle our fans' oh, memories, God, his voice. but to also introduce a new generation <laughs> of fans to the Halo universe. He needs a lot of collection lozenge. Feature features a single unified interface to give you all four games with everything unlocked on one disc. So Halo 2 Anniversary 
will contain the original Halo 2 multiplayer exactly as it shipped 10 years ago. Wow. In addition, we saw oh my god. <laughs> Halo 2 maps to recreate with the power of the Xbox One. I'd like to show you guys some gameplay on Ascension with the help of our pro players today. Jesus hey guys, Christ, man. I'm way behind now. Yeah, let's go. I'm kind of glad they did that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be showing you gameplay from Ghost POV because uh, he's a lot better than I am. I'm trying. Oh, yes, we are playing Spartans versus Elise. A knight, and he's crouching on me. Okay, I, think this, I think they remade this map for Halo 4. Is there another player? Another big mainstay. Uh, come I guess on. Lost sort of thing. They they had fun. to do that, yeah. I think I'll get the Master Chief collection, last, but, but not I'm not least, interested the in the new one. The I, I I am so done with Halo myself. Halo <laughs> I'm not interested in either. I would rather play Halo it's... than Call of Duty, though. Oh yeah, me too by far. Probably me too, but I'll just play neither. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I wasn't expecting to actually be tempted to want an Xbox One. I know, I know I want one now. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> Hurry, make them do the sports thing. The sports, that'll talk me out of it. <laughs> These games represent just a handful of the many Oh my god, Adam is not happy. <laughs> in addition to our holiday lineup, we are also in Does he want one too? No. No. He, he says he would buy one to throw it out the window for kicks. Oh god. A, of our game. A, a new game? Yeah. No, oh, I, I think. Is this the Limbo developer? No. It looked like no, Limbo to. Oh, for a little bit. I'm not sure. I, I think they called Play Dead, but I'm really not sure. I'm... Yeah, Play Dead Studios. Okay. Well, I slightly despise Limbo, so I don't think this is for me. Oh. This looks interesting, though. I never played Limbo. Looks a lot like Another World. Then again, Limbo was kind of Another World ish, too. I'm more interested in that game they showed for Microsoft Studios earlier that this guy's also said would be a tearjerker. What was it called? Uh, Ori? Ori? Yeah. That definitely looked a lot better than this. Yeah. Well, this certainly looks like a game from the developers of Limbo, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't like the art style, like, I think I'm starting to understand why Limbo was black and white, because maybe they just aren't very good with graphics. Montage. <laughs> I like montages. I like the look of Cuphead. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Whoa. Oh wait, I've heard of that game! <laughs> yeah, that Cuphead, they designed it to be like uh, 1930s Disney animation. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I. It looked very similar to those, yeah. Was that an arcade version of Super Smash Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Horror game, of course. That's pretty good. Oblivion? <laughs> I'm 
Oblivion from the developers of Dead Island? Yes! When you're ready, open your eyes. I think we're making progress in these sessions. You say the flashbacks have stopped. She looks like Kat from DMC. This is excellent of mm -hmm. you. But I'm concerned that you're still shutting yourself away at home. It's important okay. to gradually take steps into the outside world. Oh! Oh, I think I'm, I think I see what this is. Yeah, I think I see what it is. Yeah. Girl your age. I don't. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to know you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what this is. Oh, wait. I think I have an idea. I think your idea is right. <laughs> okay. Why did I, is Aquamity back yet? I'm, yeah, I'm watching this. Okay, good. I'm gonna get it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy they're doing a continuation of the reboot, I love it! <laughs> oh. oh! Is it Xbox One exclusive? Oh, probably not. Yeah, it can't be. It's There's strong. no way they got, like, rights to that. Who we're meant to be. Yeah, I was right, my the idea. Of the Tomb Raider. I'm getting it. I'm getting that. I'm so happy. <laughs> I haven't even I played the, the reboot. Is it worth playing the, the reboot? I loved it. Okay. I really liked Ladies it too. And gentlemen, okay. On PC, Project just play it on PC. Okay. <laughs> I didn't like it, but I think you might like it. I think it reminded Hello? me a lot of Uncharted. Conrad and I are totally thrilled to be able to premiere. Ryan Barnard. All right. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Great to be back here at E3 what? this year with Microsoft and Xbox. So last year we gave you a glimpse oh, okay. of New York City on the brink of collapse. <laughs> the time's so happy. I think you guys are ahead of me. He's still talking about the game. I don't actually see any footage yet. I was excited about this last year. Yeah. Uh, same. Oh, it still looks ominous. At least they confirmed that it is coming to PC too. Yep. Wait, so since they're announcing it now, this means it's not coming out till 2015? They did recently delay it. Wow, this is a long time in the making. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. I was with the same people from right. voice chat. Oh, <laughs> Looks clear. It still doesn't sound rehearsed at all. I'm getting a reading over here. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> hey, 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 it is, it is definitely scripted though. Train. Good voice acting, though. Oh, Megan, such a good voice actress. <laughs> she is. Okay. I agree. Hey, Chris. The other guy is very good at talking, though. <laughs> Chris and his tablet. I know. I want to get this too. Let's play together, okay? Okay. Poor Chris, still confined to the tablets. Okay, let's take these guys out first as quietly as possible. All right, I have Tesla and Pulse up. All right, Ryan, let's change up our skills. I'm guessing everyone's going to get this on PC. Probably. Okay. 
In general, if anything is multi-platform, I, I go for PC. Me too, I think. I've been converted. Although it will mean we'll have to deal with Uplay again, because it's a Ubisoft game. That's okay. I'm okay with having to start a client and then running a game. <laughs> I would be okay with it if the said client was more stable for me. <laughs> I'm more worried if I wasn't moving and getting new internet. I never figured out why Assassin's Creed multiplayer stopped working for me. Hmm. Yeah, you should contact support. No, oh, I'm moving. I have new internet. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's your solution. <laughs> yes, I'll just move to a different okay. state. <laughs> Ubisoft recently revealed that they're like literally the biggest games company in the world in regards to employees they have and like I think I think I believe them with like a billion studios making Assassin's Creed and this being in development for ages and Watch Dogs being in development for over four years like they have a ton of people Seems like they've been the biggest with recent new titles like, They've done a really yeah. good job with big big titles yeah, they've, uh, they've, they've taken a few risks with games like this and Watch Dogs, so that's good. They're advertising pretzels and hot dogs. <laughs> Just for like, me! Companies like Activision are a bit more uh, laid back. They just bet everything on Call of Duty. I don't think I realized last year that this was a Tom Clancy's game. It was like the last thing they announced. Maybe yeah, I didn't catch that. Yeah, right at the end of the trip, he played on the show. Hmm. Okay. Please welcome game director Hideki Kamiya. <laughs> oh, wow. My team and I are excited to present our next original game exclusively on the Xbox One. As a game Wait. creator, my passion oh God. is to oh God. audiences unique experiences. Today, we will give you the first look at our next creation. Prepare I have to no see idea what this is. A whole new what is this? <clears throat> These are the Bayonet uh, Metal Gear Rising guys. Oh. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> that was cute. Main character reminds me of uh, Dante. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I guess it's worth mentioning that Kamiya made the first Devil May Cry game. Maybe this character will actually be likable. I like Dante. <laughs> I like the original Dante. <laughs> I like both Dante. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did come here direct Metal Gear Rising, or was that someone else? I think it might have been someone else. I guess his last game was Bayonetta. Yeah. And of course you'll be able to work in Bayonetta 2 right the now. The co-founder and creative director for Cloud Gen, David Jones. Today, I'm excited to reveal the return of a game close to my heart and the hearts of many gamers. And David Jones, is that the... Uh... And exclusively for Xbox One. Did he work on Crackdown? In addition to a whole new campaign, Wait, what? I like when they say something about a full co-op campaign. An new multiplayer experience. 
one powered by an army of dedicated servers on Xbox. Oh yeah. It's time to reimagine oh, don't tease open me. world gaming. <laughs> Tech guys, spoilers. All right, all right. <laughs> I saw the symbol! <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, confirmed it for me. And the voice! <laughs> I'm silent for you, Agent. Los Muertos, they're bringing the gangs back! I, I'm guessing uh, Ryman really liked Crackdown. <laughs> yes! <Yeah. laughs> I need to play the, that game. Like, oh. Did Sectus, Ryman, and Guard play multiplayer of this game at one point? No, I played co-op with this once and the netcode is absolutely fucking horrendous and I stopped playing the game. I don't have that many problems, but then again, I played with the I think, I think if you play with someone who isn't too far away, it'll be fine, but the further away, the more input lag you'll get, and that is just no, 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 I don't want input lag. Input lag. This is Crackdown, you said? Yes. Yeah. Part of the trailer, so <laughs> depending on how extensive the co-op campaign is going to be, I'll. I think I'd be interested well, in this. The the previous two games, it was co-op all the way. I mean, they said it would be completely co-op, but I just don't know how long, like how big of a campaign it is. It was. It wasn't too long, but it was sizable. The first two games. This looks all CG. I want to see what the extra game looks like. <laughs> it's not a realistic representation of the city because there aren't fucking orbs everywhere. It's a shame. I like orbs. <laughs> <laughs> 